Hello and welcome to our daily Godcast of evening prayer on this Wednesday of the second week of Easter. Our readings today, uh, first reading, we, we learn that, and this is the second time already, and if we look at Paul's letters, we see that our, our early church fathers, our, our apostles and Paul, were all quote-unquote jailbirds. <laughs> This is the second time that Peter and John have been arrested, and this time they were arrested with the whole rest of the company, too. Uh, The 11 of them were all incarcerated in the the local jail. And uh, in Paul's letters, he spends many times, many different times in many different jails, uh, being arrested uh, over and over again um, for being... Uh, truthful for preaching the good news Um, may I be gifted with the courage and fortitude and uh, faith required to joyfully and happily spend some time behind bars if necessary for proclaiming the gospel of, of our Lord if if that's what's you know if that's what's required uh, not to run and hide and shirk my responsibilities as a minister and you know that goes for all of us we're all priest prophet and king through our baptism we're all called to to pray and to uh, to proclaim you know there's Places in this country and around the world where even silent prayer, standing in front of an abortion clinic somewhere, praying quietly, can land you behind bars. Are we willing to, you know, stand up for that and fight against the uh, wrongful incarcerations of being spiritual of being christian so our early church fathers our apostles uh, were often arrested and you know so i guess you might say the more things change the more things stay the same Uh, persecution of the church has been an ongoing uh, struggle throughout the two thousand years and it continues. Some places, like here in the States, we are blessed with freedom, in most cases, to live our faith in peace without fear of being arrested. But there are places where it's very risky. You know, look at parts of Asia, Korea, China, you know, there in Russia. Um, places around the globe that uh, that still persecute the church so we we need to really be on our uh, you know on our prayers for the strength and courage that it might require for us to also um, happily joyfully proclaim God's word from behind bars our gospel today um John 3.16. All I have to do is say John 3.16, and a lot of people say, oh, I've, I've seen that. I've, I've seen the signs at ball games and stuff, John 3.16. But what does John 3.16 say? Well, some people might not know. But I'm going to, we'll, we'll, I'll recite that. But today, when, when we reflect on the gospel, it's important to look at what Jesus says next. Okay, now this is um, from John's Gospel 316, and John is saying that God so loved the world that he sent his only Son so that all who would believe in him would have everlasting life. That's John 316. After that, John goes on to say that the light 
came into the world. Jesus came into the world, the light of the world, but people chose darkness because they didn't like that light. They liked to do their wicked things, their evil deeds, and the light that would shine on a wicked or an evil deed and expose it as what it to as to what it is made people uncomfortable makes people uncomfortable so we prefer the darkness to hide in to maintain our evil intentions and go ahead on living in darkness it's easier you know it's uh it's a preferred way of life for a lot of people. They don't want to be in the light. They want to be in the darkness. And then sometimes too, and this is what something else we have to guard against, the devil and his temptations sometimes appear to be a light. He's a trickster, the devil is. And he'll show you something and say, look how lovely this is how beautiful it is bright and shiny but it's really darkness and evil so we have to guard against false lights against a, a light that is only being emanated for a short time to draw us in and then trap us in the darkness so today Boldness, again, is required through our first reading to be strong enough in our faith to, to be willing to be arrested or, uh, you know, just persecuted for being truth tellers. And also, we need to always be children of the light, preferring the light of Christ over the darkness of this world and to be mirrors, mirrors of Christ's light. We take the light of Christ and we let it shine on us and then we reflect that light into every dark corner that we encounter. So let us be the bearers of Christ's light in our lives every minute of every day. And if it means being persecuted for it, so be it. Let's pray for the faith to be able to do that, to shine the light regardless of the consequences. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Have faith in me. Alleluia. In God alone is my soul at rest. My help comes from him. He alone is my rock, my stronghold, my fortress. I stand firm. How long will you all attack one man to break him down, as though he were a tottering wall or a tumbling fence? Their plan is only to destroy. They take pleasure in lies. With their mouth they utter blessing, but in their heart they curse. In God alone be at rest my soul, for my hope comes from him. He alone is my rock, my stronghold, my fortress. I stand firm. In God is my safety and glory, the rock of my strength. Take refuge in God, all you people. Trust him at all times. Pour out your hearts before him, for God is our refuge. Common folk are only a breath, great men an illusion. Placed in the scales they rise, they weigh less than a breath. Do not put your trust in oppression, nor vain hopes on plunder. Do not set your heart on riches, even when they increase. For God has said only one thing, only two do I know, that to God alone belongs power and to you, Lord, love, and that you repay each man according to his deeds. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord God, you reward each one according to his works. Hear us as we pour out our hearts to you, seeking your grace and secure protection. We look to you for our stable hope in the constantly changing world. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Have faith in me. Alleluia. Let the peoples praise you, Lord God. Let them rejoice in your salvation. Alleluia. O God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving help. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the peoples. You guide the nations on earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its fruit, for God, our God, has blessed us. May God still give us his blessing till the ends of the earth revere him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Be gracious, and bless us, O Lord, and let your face shed its light on us, so that we can make you known with reverence, and bring forth a harvest of justice. Let the peoples praise you, Lord, let Lord God, let all, let them rejoice in your salvation. Alleluia. His glory covers the heavens, and his praise fills the earth. Alleluia. Let us give thanks to the Father for having made you worthy to share the lot of the saints in light. He rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved Son. Through him we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creatures. In him everything in heaven and on earth was created, things visible and invisible. All were created through him, all were created for him. He is before all else that is. In him everything continues in being. It is he who is head of the body, the church, he who is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead, so that primacy may be his in everything. It pleased God to make absolute fullness reside in him, and by means of him to reconcile everything in his person, both on earth and in the heavens, making peace through the blood of his cross. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. His glory covers the heavens, and his praise fills the earth. Alleluia. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Jesus, because he remains forever, has a priesthood that does not pass away. Therefore, he is always able to save those who approach God through him, since he forever lives to make intercession for them. It was fitting that we should have such a high priest, holy, innocent, undefiled, separated from sinners, higher than the heavens. Unlike the other high priest, priests, he has no need to offer sacrifice day after day, first for his own sins and then for those of the people. He did that once for all when he offered himself. <coughs> the disciples rejoiced. Alleluia, alleluia. The disciples rejoiced. Alleluia, alleluia. When they saw the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The disciples rejoiced. Alleluia, alleluia. The man of God welcomes the light. 
and searches his deeds and finds them true. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich. He has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The man of God welcomes the light, and searches his deeds, and finds them true. Alleluia. In his Son, risen from the dead, God has opened for us the way to everlasting life. Let us ask the Father. Through the victory of Christ, save the people he has redeemed. God of our fathers, you raised your son Jesus from the dead and clothed him in glory. Move our hearts to complete repentance that we may walk in newness of life. Through the victory of Christ, save the people he has redeemed. You have led us back to the shepherd and bishop of our souls. Keep us faithful under the guidance of the shepherds of the church. <coughs> Through the victory of Christ, save the people he has redeemed. You chose the first fruits of Christ's disciples from the Jewish people. Reveal to the children of Israel the fulfillment of the promise made to their forefathers. Through the victory of Christ, save the people he has redeemed. Remember the lonely, the orphaned, and the widowed, and do not abandon those who have been reconciled with you by the death of your Son. Through the victory of Christ, save the people he has redeemed. You called Stephen to your presence when he bore witness to Jesus. Standing at your right hand, welcome our deceased brothers and sisters who in faith and love hope for the vision of your glory. Through the victory of Christ, save the people he has redeemed. Gathering our prayer and praises into one, let us offer the prayer that Christ himself taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. God of mercy, you have filled us with the hope of resurrection by restoring man to his original dignity. May we who relive this mystery each year Come to share it in perpetual love. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great night, everyone. Rest well, and uh, we'll see you all tomorrow.